The Alex Master Shop is now available right here on Redbubble, where you can get a variety of things such as artwork, posters, stickers, and many, many more stuff. All you have to do is click the link down below and go on to Redbubble, where you can get a variety of things. There are currently 20 things in the shop now, so be sure to get your things today, such as t-shirts, stickers, and many more things. Remember to click the link down below and get your stuff today. Thank you so much and enjoy the video. Our story begins in the Wild West in the desert outside of Haystown. A young Hispanic cowboy sharpshooter named Jose Ruffedge is out in the desert by himself at his brother's farm practicing his marksmanship skills for the upcoming competition to be next sheriff of Hayestown. Rough Edge fires his gun with both speed and accuracy at several cactuses, causing them to leak out the juice into the buckets that were placed where the shots were fired at collecting the cactus juice. Rough Edge then walks towards one of the buckets and takes a small drink out of it and gives a thumbs up. Still got it, said Rough Edge after drinking the small slip. Just then, Rough Edge's twin brother Antonio shows up from the farm with some roasted ribs for his brother and him to eat. Oi, hermano. I made some dinner for the both of us. Can't improve on your aim on an empty stomach, said Antonio. Rough Edge responded. Oh, thanks. I'm starving like hell. Both of the brothers began eating their meal while sitting down. So, Jose. I heard that you're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sheriff Fancy Boy Jacobs in the Hayestown Sheriff's Shoot-Off event in a few days. That happens every five years. Are you sure you can beat him? Fancy Boy has not only been Sheriff for five years, but has won the same event easily last year with pretty amazing skill against the last mayor. Asked Antonio. Rough Edge responds with, Hey, it's better for me to try than doing nothing for most of my life. Besides, I think I could take on the Sheriff, not by blind luck, but by skill, practice, and patience. Also, if I was in charge, I'd make a few changes in Hayestown that could help out when it comes to trade and, and even be more welcoming to outsiders. Shame our folks when they came here got screwed over, even when we left Ghostville, which was way worse. See, amigo, those were dark days. I'm not expecting you to win every battle, but if you do win, or lose, all I care about is that you gave it your all. Even if the outcome you want is just a dream, ideas and hard work can never be broken under a strong foundation. Antonio said. Thanks, man. Love you too. Rough Edge commented. Not a problem. And the same thing as well. Antonio commented. Both brothers then began eating their meals, and then got some rest after that. Five days have passed in Hayestown at the dawn of the morning. A sharply dressed young Caucasian man with dark blonde hair, who happens to be Jacob's fancy boy, is standing outside in the streets with his men setting up for the big event and tweaking his pistol in private. Are you guys done already? The show is about to start and I can't wait another five years of greatness from me. Jacob said while waiting impatiently. Just in, Jacob's butler, Timsworth, an older, dark-skinned gentleman in his late fifties, shows up with Jacob's gun. Here you go, sir. I have your special pistol all tweaked, loaded, and cleaned up, said Timsworth while handing Jacob's his gun. Excellent. What about everything else for the event, Timsworth, said Jacob's after receiving his gun. All the stuff for the contest and after party is done being set up. Timsworth responded. Finally. Jeez, took their asses long enough. Said Jacobs in a relieved and passive-aggressive tone. Just then, Rough Edge walks into town and meets up with Jacobs before the start of the event. So, Big Cheese, are you ready for this year's little showdown? Asked Rough Edge, a confident tone of speaking. <laughs> I didn't know your kind would be participating. Jacob's smugly remarks. Rough Edge comments. 
Well, I saw an opening and I took it, so why not? Ruffage said. I take you on and beat your ass easily, kid. You won't stand a chance. Responded Jacobs in a prideful manner. <laughs> we'll see about that. Ruffage said while smiling. And so, both Ruffage and Jacobs began the competition with the shoot the most moving targets part of the contest. Jacobs manages to shoot four of the targets. Then Ruffage took his turn and shot the same number of targets. Both competitors tie in the first round. Then in the next event, both Ruffage and Jacobs decided to go to a bull riding event to see how long they could stay on the bull. Jacobs went on the bull and lasted for a whole minute while before falling off, while Rough Edge lasted only 40 seconds and fell into a pile of bullshit. Jacobs wins the bull riding part of the event. <laughs> See? I am better than you, Jose. Just give up and go back to your farm. I'm the best. Jacobs boasted. Not quite. We still got more events to go through. I'm about to give you my A-game. Ruffedge replied. The third match of the contest starts with a horse race within the town. Both contestants rode their horses at breakneck speed through the town to reach the finish. Ruffedge, by a hair, manages to beat Jacobs in the race. See? I told you I'm being serious about winning as much as you! Ruffedge said after winning the horse race. Ah, shut up! This isn't over yet! Besides, we're going to be starting the final event soon, and I'll run this town for five more years, and it will be an easy victory, Jacobs ranted. The final event with a gun duel between the two men begins with both of them standing still, looking at each other tensely. Draw! Both men exclaimed as they both pulled out their guns at the same time. However, just before Jacobs took out his gun to fire, it was then shot out of his hand by Rough Edge in a quick manner. No way! Jacobs screamed. <laughs> you sure as hell talked a big talk. But guess that was for show. Rough Edge says while putting his gun back into his holder. Just then, the crowd of people watching the event cheered as they saw the final results of the contest with Rough Edge being declared the new sheriff of Hayestown. As Jacob is in disbelief at the fact that he lost the contest and his title as sheriff, despite having the slight edge against his rival. As he was watching the crowds cheer for their new sheriff. This is bullshit! Jacob screamed in anger. Ah, oh, come on, bro. You were the cock of the walk for five years. No need to be sour about losing. Rough Edge comments happily while being carried by the crowd and then leaves with them. Don't talk to me! You just got lucky, you son of a bitch! Yelled Jacobs. Jeez, no need to be a boner killer for losing to my brother. You were cool as well commented Antonio while putting his hand around Jacob's shoulder. Touch me again, and you'll be dead, you piece of shit! Yelled Jacob while throwing Antonio's hand off of him. Oh, okay, fine. Jeez, don't have to be a dick about it. Said Antonio. God damn it! Fuck fucking shit! Screamed Jacobs in pure rage. Forget it. I'm gonna get a drink at the bar. Said Jacobs in a defeated tone. While heading to the bar to drink his problems away. There has been two days of partying throughout all Hayes Town, with its two thousand residents. People are dancing in the streets, folk and country music is being played by various bands, and huge public feasts are being held after Rough Hedge was made sheriff. In the saloon, Rough Hedge and Antonio are having some beers together as brothers, and a bunch of other people partying hardcore in the background. You did it, bro. You're the toast of the town, said Antonio to Rough Hedge happily. All I did was win against a snobby rich dude who lacked skill and relied on lucky and advanced tech. Well, I used skill and didn't rely on my weapon alone to win. Proudly explained by Rough Edge to his brother. Then two attractive <laughs> South Bell women show up to meet up with Rough Edge. 
Hey doll, just want to say congrats on winning the title of Sheriff for the next five years, said one of the ladies. Oh my god, Sheriff, you and your brother are so handsome as hell. You don't mind if we get together for the rest of the night, hon? Sure thing, ladies. Me and my bro don't mind, Rough Edge said while blushing. I'll buy you two a few drinks on me, babes, Antonio said. Outside the saloon, Jacob is finishing his bottle of beer, and then throws it on the ground in anger after finishing it. I can't believe this shit! How could I have lost? Never in many years, I, Hayestown's greatest sharpshooter, lost that easily like that, said Jacobs while steaming mad with tears, then punching the outside of the saloon. Just then, a mysterious short-haired man with long Japanese-style ropes shows up with a Jijinka wolf chick with messy long brown hair, shows up coming from the corner of the saloon, and meets Fancy Boy. Konnichiwa, Jacobs. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Said the mysterious man while drowning his beat. Jara Tanzano. So what are you doing here? Asked Jacobs in confusion. Oh, sorry to show up all of a sudden. And here you lost your title as sheriff, to the one inside the bar partying. Pretty funny if you ask me. Said Jara with a smile on his face. What the hell do you want? Demanded Jacobs. Listen Jacobs, you know why me and my boys are here. See, I remember like six years ago I helped you in becoming sheriff of this wonderful little town by giving the money to do so, and other resources for you, and even crafted your cool gun. So then I was wondering if you happened to have the money you owed me in return, or at least 25 to 50 percent of it, which would be fine as well," said Jaro. I don't have it. And why does a rotten, walking pile of flesh want his money back anyway? Questioned Jacobs in a bitter manner. Funny, when I made a deal with your father, he didn't act all high and mighty of himself. He was a poor foreigner, not from the town you grew up in and he begged me for help in fixing his life. And he paid me back, every time. I'll tell you what, I'll give you about two days to pay me back. Jaro responded to Jacob's question. I'm not paying your rotting ass for the last time. And also, I already spent the money on important stuff. Jacob sneered. Yeah, important stuff like that suit you're wearing or other false promises that you have for the town but instead spent it on your own self-indulging pleasures behind the scenes. Jaro said in a calm but intimidating tone. Whatever, I'm walking away now, said Jacob, leaving not before giving Jaro the middle finger. I'm going to enjoy ending that man's career, Jaro said while smiling wickedly. Lupus, called Jaro. Yeah, Yavin son, said Lupus. I want you to bring the boys over in a few days, because it appears that Jacobs wants to do things the hard way, and I don't plan to let him walk away that easily, even if it means we have to paint the town in red, instead of him paying for our dinner. Let's make him pay one way or another, explained Jarl with an evil smile. Lupus excitedly said, I like the way you're thinking, boss. A little bit of fun is what we need. Yes, it is, darling. Let's get to work, replied Charo.